All right, we've had a little bit of a break and uh, it's time to start painting the tri-pacer. So today I've got the wings on the bench and I'll just go over my basic procedure for you guys. I'm not gonna show you painting the whole airplane. We'll save that for a reveal at a later video, but uh, it makes sense that, uh, you know, rinse, repeat, you know, <laughs> sort of how the story goes with model building. <laughs> So really what we're dealing with here is just some basic things. We need a clean, clean surface. So we have, we have a dirty lens. There we go, that's much better. So what we have here is just uh, some basic things that we need to go over. Uh, <clears throat> number one is we want to work with a clean surface. So that's why I'm using Windex. No, the the reason I'm <laughs> it says fresh shine, but it's it's Windex inside. Trust me. Um, <laughs> the reason we're going to use that is because we don't want any oily residues. Uh, you can go over with a basic degreaser cleaner uh, on your covering, but uh, that's going to leave a film and a residue. And on the Oratex, it may be difficult to remove that. So we're going to use the window cleaner first. Uh, any really tough spots we may hit with some acetone uh, which should be fine on the Oratex just to do some cleaning and then we're going to use tape we're going to use uh, this green tape uh, so this is designed for rough surfaces uh, reason being that we have a texture on our Oratex so I'm going to mask off the leading edge here right where the uh, balsa sheeting starts and I'm going to mask that off and then I'm going to use the regular masking tape to use a cover over everything else because we're going to paint that leading edge blue. So once that's all masked off, then we can do some painting. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost And here we are. 
Okay, I'm not gonna touch this. <laughs> this is still technically wet. Uh, it's probably dry to the touch. Here, I'll touch at the root. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dry. Um, however, uh, I have found that on any masking tape or any masking job in general, no matter what it is, you want to remove it when the paint has not yet cured. Reason for that is you can actually pull the paint up not where you've masked. It just, it wants to go where it wants to go, where it doesn't adhere, etc. Now there's all sorts of things you can do to help prevent that, like primers and things like that. But in the end, no matter what, I have just found that it's easier to pull it all off very carefully when it's still wet and try not to touch anything. Um, that being said, looking at the line, the tape did a really good job. I can't really complain much. There's, I mean, getting close. There's a little bit of creep underneath the edge of the tape, but not a whole lot. I'm really, really liking this. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, the two wings already and taken care of. That's all the paint they're gonna get. That's it. So it's time to move on to the fuselage and do some other things with it. Guys, I really appreciate you stopping by the workshop today. It is so exciting to get the Tri-Pacer finally in paint. I've got some things to do on the cowl as well, so don't think that just magically the next episode is going to be the whole airplane covered in paint and finished and ready to go. So uh, I'm going to cover the things that I need to modify there, and I have to also paint uh, the cowl as well. So stay tuned for that, but uh, you know, I'm still trying to make up my mind what the next project is going to be as I wrap this one up, but uh, stay tuned. It's going to be fun either way. So until next time, continue to paint and make your beautiful flying works of art.